In this video, we are going to customize our Android home screen into these setups that I've created right here step by step. I wanted to make both setups minimal and vibrant and so you can see from how these setups are looking. So without any further delays, I'm going to walk you through how I made the first setup and I'm also going to show you a simple way to have this setup made on your home screen without you doing everything from scratch. But that will come in a second. So first up, we need some applications to help us create the setup. And for the first setup, we need to install the launcher used, which is everyone's favorite, the good old and still modern Nova Launcher. And without a doubt, one of the most popular applications for customizing your Android home screen, it has all the necessary features like gesture controls, custom icons and app drawer tweaks. But where it really shines is how smooth and reliable it is. You can change your grid, create backups and even go super minimal or flashy with your setup. It is super easy to use and that is the launcher of choice for the setup. Keep in mind all the applications mentioned will be linked in the video description. And then we also have to install a custom widget maker application called KWGT Pro, which we can use to create widgets and also load pre-made widgets onto the home screen. And speaking of pre-made widgets, we also have to download two custom widget applications, one called Ambrosia KWGT and the second one called Snowcone for KWGT. And then let's go ahead and download Kessel Icon Pack which is this minimal pastel looking icons we are going to use for the first setup. I've also linked the wallpaper in the video description. I think I got this wallpaper from an X account which I'll also link in the video description. And lastly and also most important, the backup file which is going to make the setup process very fast and I've also linked that in the video description. Now that we have all the applications installed together with the backup file and wallpaper, make sure you set Nova Launcher as your default home screen launcher. And you can do that by going to your phone settings, go to apps, default applications and find default launcher and choose Nova Launcher. You can also open the Nova Launcher settings, go all the way down, find, select default launcher and then choose Nova Launcher from here. Go ahead and set the wallpaper and then to the best part to speed up the setup process again go to nova launcher settings find backup and restore find restore backup tap on it and then locate the backup file from your internal storage tap on it and then select ok from the pop-up This way, we have skipped all the basic settings and all we have to do is add the custom widgets. So for the first widget on the left edge of the setup, again make sure you've installed KWGT Pro and Ambrosia KWGT. So now tap on the template box and then from your installed packs, find Ambrosia KWGT. Use the search icon and type 00004. Now tap the start group, switch to position, move it a little to the left. Tap on save and that's it. We also have a little music widget at the bottom, so use the same method at this time, find snow cone KWGT. and then find AT017, also using the search. And there, we have created our first setup. Using the same method we used for the first setup, also make sure you download the backup file for this one also. And this one has just one custom widget and also some favorite applications on a single page. The widget on this one is also from Ambrosia KWGT and the launcher is also Nova Launcher. So all we have to do is install an icon pack called Creamy Icon Pack, which is this one that looks less saturated, bold, flat but somehow vibrant and of course perfect for the setup. Wallpaper for this setup is also linked below. So starting this, Again, go to Nova Settings, Backup and Restore, find the backup file named Setup2, tap Yes, and that's it.
On the home screen, tap on the widget box. Again, find Ambrosia KWGT from your installed packs. This time, search 00038. You get this custom widget containing the time, user profile information, and a search bar and a couple of applications which are also very responsive. Now we need to make this our own and so we have to change the image, the name and other user profile information to ours. And to do that, switch to globals, swipe down and first let's change the image to ours. So tap on it, find your image. And then to the tagline, edit that, then tap on the check icon. And then finally the name, edit that also and then tap on the save icon. Again, all basic setup process is passed by including app drawer settings, folder settings and more. And speaking of folder settings, I have this secret folder inside a couple of favorite applications on the home screen. So when I swipe up on this application, it brings up other applications in the folder, but when I tap on it, it opens the application. You can also do this by first creating the folder and then long press on it, tap on the edit, and then toggle on swipe to open folder. This makes the first application in the folder the main icon and when you swipe on it, it opens the folder itself. This also creates a minimal and clean looking home screen. And that was how to create these two minimal yet vibrant looking setups on your Android home screen. Let me know which one is your favorite and also let me know if I should continue this home screen setup videos. I would love to know your thoughts on that. Consider subscribing to the channel if you enjoyed the video and as always, thank you for watching.